Hello, welcome to Art Rambles with Vicky, and uh, happy to he be here with you today. Thank you for asking the questions and wanting information because I'm here to help you in any way I can. Um, how's everyone doing in this crazy COVID time? I feel there might be a positive end to this craziness. And uh, then I can get to the friggin' hairdressers and get this crazy hair of mine cut. It's driving me crazy. But I showered for you today and I put on my favorite jean jacket and I put on some jewelry just to, to show up here to have fun with you guys. So um, the question of the week was, what do I, how do I frame my uh, prints when they come after I've ordered them? So I'll go through the little process here. Because the first thing is, you're gonna get this from UPS in the mail, it's gonna arrive and you're gonna be so excited, you won't be able to wait to open it. You open it, it's really nicely wrapped, it's protected, the image, and now you say, what am I gonna do? You know, where do I go, what do I do, what, how should I frame it? Um, so I'm just gonna give you my uh, advice and how I like to frame things. Um, so just another example here is, this is an example of uh, the poster print on the shiny paper. The color, like I just can't tell you, the colors are spectacular. This would look great in an office, uh, um, in a cottage, in your home, um, anywhere. Like they're just bold, happy pieces that would just bring such joy to your every day. And, um, but I'm so thrilled with the color. I, I just, for those of you who know my originals, it's really spectacular the way um, uh, Dawn, my printer, has printed them. So when you get it and then roll it from the tube, they all have a two inch white mat. So you could just take it to your framer and just put glass and a, a frame on it, no mat or anything. But I kind of like to give my art a little bit more breathing room. So for example, here's one. This is actually an original canvas on paper. So to give you the idea here, you can see it. This painting is called Delightful. And um, I give my um, art, when I frame it, a five inch white mat. It's just a standard white mat, but if you're framing your uh, watercolor paper prints, you need an archival white mat because um, it's archival paper and it will make your print last longer. And um, so the, I like the five inch and you can do a double mat, you can do a, a thicker mat, all those little um, tricks of the trade will enhance your art. And then I would choose a one and a half inch black squared edge, like not a detailed edge, very simple frame. And I think they're probably the most inexpensive. You could do metal too but I think it enhances my art, brings out the black lines. And, um, um, and black can go in any room, or should go in every room, I'm told by decorators. A little black in every room is important. So um, have fun with that. Any more questions regarding that? Uh, just reach out anytime. And um, an exciting giveaway coming this week. So check out my Instagram online. And have a great day. Bye.